This is a neon fleur de ice. And we're about to go and make it into a mega neon. And this is only one out of all of the mega neons and neons that we're going to be making in this video. I'm going to be making some of the most expensive and rarest pets into a mega neon to show you what it will look like. And we're also making a bunch of neons. But the first one is a mega neon Fleur de Ice. This pet released at Christmas, and wow, is this thing very detailed. Good news is, I'm giving away a free dream pet to someone who likes this video, comments, and subscribes. Let's now go and make a Neon Cryo Sphinx. This is a very cool pet that came out recently. I actually don't know what the neon of this pet looks like, so I'm pretty intrigued to find out. This is the final one to place, and here we go. Here is the brand new Neon Cryo Sphinx inside of Adopt Me. I'm excited, and ooh, it's very blue, very cool, and a very nice looking design. Next, I think we should go for an older pet. For example, a frog. So, let's go and start equipping these frogs and find out what does a neon frog look like. One of these is even going to have a ride potion on. Well, it seems actually two of them are going to have a ride potion on, which uh, doesn't mean we get double ride potions, unfortunately. But a neon frog. This is a pretty old pet, pretty valuable now, I guess. Looks like this. That's kind of cool. I like this dude. A lot of glow going on down there. A Canadian goose. This is a pretty fun pet. It is only an uncommon, so it is pretty easy to actually go and age up to make into a neon. So let's go and place down the first pet to make the first neon of the day. I actually forgot what color the neon of the Canadian goose is. Let's go and have ourselves a look. Starting off with orange. All right, that's a pretty cool orange to be fair. I'm feeling pretty Christmassy, let's make a Neon Nutscracker Squirrel. This one is a pretty fun pet coming out of the Christmas update. The rarity is rare, meaning it's a lot of more tasks compared to the uncommon. And let's place the final one down to find out what the Neon Nutcracker actually looks like. This is a pet that you probably don't see that often as not many people might have aged it, but it seems that its tail glows and also its hat, which is kind of fun. It's got a little paw print on its hat, the top of the hat glows and so does the buttons of his top and also so do the ears. This is a long horn cow. I believe this came out of a special event purchase shop where they go and bring them back for maybe like the farm stuff. I can't really remember but this is a rare rarity again. Let's go and place this down and make ourselves a neon long horn cow. This is going to be a pretty fun one. Okay, here we go. Here it is. It is. Is that blue? Yeah, I think this is a blue neon. The first blue of the day. Let me know your favorite color neon in the comments. This is a sheepdog all the way from England, which is where I am living, in case any of you had no idea. So let's go and make ourselves a lovely English dog. Okay, this is the final one. Again, this pet is a rare. It seems I'm making a bunch of rares, but don't worry, I will be making neon legendaries and... Mega Neon Legendaries. Yeah, you think I was just gonna make Neons? Whoa, oh. Wow, it's um, it's very green. It's very grassy. I wish England was this green. Um, yeah, this is a very colorful one. Like, such a vibrant green. I really wasn't expecting that. Up next is potentially one of the most hated pets in Adopt Me. But this is an ultra rare, so let's go. And here it is. People just despise the design of the snow monkey. I mean, it's okay. Personally, not my favorite. So let's actually go and check out the neon. Honestly, I have no idea what the neon of this pet is like, but it's a white pet before, so I have a feeling that it might just glow white, potentially. I actually don't know. This one's gonna be a surprise. Let's go and find out. I hope it's good, because the ordinary form isn't the best. So let's have a look. What is this gonna be? Oh, is it going to be white? Place your guess. It is. Um, yeah, I still don't like it. I was hoping the neon would make me like the pet, but I still don't like it. Um, that's, yeah, it's, it's a snow monkey, I guess. <laughs> I actually have enough to go and make two of these into neon, which is uh, great. So let's go and do that. Um, we already know what it looks like, but there we go. Add that onto our list of completed making neons for the day. 
I wish I had a task board that said make a neon. Let's uh, get rid of this and see if it gives me one. Yep, not happening. There is a button to filter by... There's a button to filter by age, which means if I search the pet that I'm looking for, it should now come up with all of the ones that I kind of want to go and combine. So... We're actually going to make a fly ride one right now, which is fun. This is a Shiba, Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu, I don't know how you say it. So we're combining some fly ride ones with um, ride ones, which will give us a fly ride. If you mix the two, let's have a look. I kind of forgot what this looks like. I haven't made a neon Shiba in such a long time. There we go. This gets glowing orange ears, glowing feet, and a glowing tail that wiggles like a little worm. <laughs> um, so I do have a bunch of Shibas now. I actually didn't realize I was having that many of them. Speaking of pets that I already have a lot of, I have two mega neon beluga whales, but I don't, oh wait, am I about to make another mega one? Oh, well, 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 I guess I am. I thought I was making this a neon. I didn't realize it. this was already neon. So I guess we're making a mega neon. Why? Because why not? In case you want to know what it looks like. Um, surprise, we're making a Mega in this video as well. That's going to be fun. Mega Neon Beluga. Why do I have three of them? I must have like traded someone for a challenge or something. This is the Mega Neon Beluga Whale. I believe this again came out at like a Christmas update or something. Um, kind of fun. Not much neon to it. Must be easy to age up. Yeah, it's only a common... I'm um, trading for good legendaries. Maybe I gave him a good legendary for this. I can't remember trading for that. Penguins. Lots of penguins. Can I make a full grown? Yeah, I can. So we're going to make a fly ride full grown neon penguin. You see, the issue here is this is a ride and this is flying a ride, which does mean I'm technically losing a ride potion, if that makes any sense, because you can't like stack up and a dummy doesn't like give you a ride potion in return if you go and add it on, which would be a cool feature if they did. Like, because I put a pet that's fly ride and a pet that's ride, technically they should give me a ride potion, but no, they don't. Anyway, a neon penguin, this is the classic penguin before they went and revamped them, which was uh, actually a while ago now, to be fair. This is what the classic penguin looks like. We have glowing feet and glowing hands, flippers. I actually don't know what those are called. <laughs> Speaking of penguins, I am actually to go and make a mega neon peppermint penguin. So I'll stick around to the end to see that one. But first we shall make a neon jellyfish. This right here is an ultra rare pet. And uh, let's go and make this into a jellyfish. I kind of forgot how you got this pet. Maybe it's a UGC reward. And yeah, I've never actually seen a neon of this pet. So I'm intrigued. I don't know what this looks like myself. So hopefully this is a cool looking pet. Let's have a look. What's it gonna be? I actually have no idea. Okay, well, I'm predicting pink. And it is kind of pink, kind of red. The rest, I actually don't know what color this is. Someone let me know what color this is in the comments. I think it's more red than it is pink, but I will let the comments decide what do you think the neon of this pet is? Up next is the Kookaburra. This is a Robux bird. I believe this was like 200 Robux when it released. I believe this was an event pet for like a specific themed shop. Now I do already have a neon of this. I think I made it when the update originally came out, which was like a couple months ago. So let's go and remind myself what does the neon kookaburra actually look like i'm pretty sure this is the robux pet and oh yeah this was a great color especially the wings and the face and the underbeak all glows this might be my favorite neon that we have made today based on like the aesthetic color it just looks satisfying like the colors really work on this one i think it came out at the same time as the groundhog so let's go and make his friend into a neon as well the groundhog is an ultra rare i didn't realize that i thought it was a common or something but let's go and make ourselves a neon groundhog and find out what does that one actually look like i predict green and it is is that blue or is it white um i i don't know what color is that yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just a white neon. Let me know in the comments. Um, the tail glows and its chin and its ears and a little bit of its eye, which is kind of fun. You want to know what else is fun? Caterpillars. 
Um, I searched the word cat. I realized that might not work as successfully, but it still did! Caterpillar! <laughs> it's weird that um, a caterpillar is just a cat with a pillar on the end. So let's go and make this into a neon before I start um, to lose the plot even more. I like the little wiggle. You know, when, when this walks, it kind of just like wiggles. Kind of fun. Anyway, neon caterpillar. Is it going to be green? Is it going to be red? Let's find out. The mysterious color of the neon caterpillar. It's blue. A blue caterpillar. Kind of cool. I mean, it's a very small looking pet. I can't see many people equipping this and flexing off their mega caterpillar. But hey, if caterpillars are your favorite pet, then you might just want to go and make this into a neon. Want free UGC on Robux? Check out Rapid Rumble, a game centered around fun minigames to earn fresh ticks, which you can use to purchase UGC items in the Rapid Rumble shop. For example, I played these minigames, saved up enough points to go and purchase this UGC hat, which works on any Roblox game. And if I want, I can literally sell this for Robux in the future and get free Robux from this. There'll also be fresh cut quests going on every day to earn UGC for free by simply just playing Rapid Rumble. So if you love free items, check out the game's link in the description. This is an alpaca. Let's now go and make a neon. And the rarity of the alpaca is ultra rare. As for how you get it, I completely forgot. Unfortunately, I can't remember where all 500 of the pets in Adopt Me originated, as much as I do try, but let's go and place this down and find out what this looks like. Let's stand right next to it with, guess what? My awesome, brand new Cookie Tiger Head. That's right, you can go and pick this up on the Roblox Avatar Shop. The link is down below in the video's description for you to go and purchase this awesome hat and look like me or my YouTube logo. I definitely recommend getting that. And anyway, the Neon Alpaca looks like this. This is a pretty cool pet. It seems the tail and the head and the ears glow neon. This is a very expensive, more new, recent pet called the Volcanic Rhino. Now this is a very difficult pet to go and get your hands on, so making this into a neon is actually a pretty big deal, because this is very hard to get. Even with Robux it's difficult to get. So let's go and place this down and find out what will this possibly look like. I'm not too sure. And the Volcanic Rhino as a neon just glows blue. Which realistically you probably could have done if you just went to the hair salon in Adopt Me and changed it blue as not many of the other parts actually glow because those parts already glue before if that makes sense. This is a neon quokka. Now you might be confused, why am I showing you a neon one? Well, we're making it into a mega neon, a mega neon quokka. I think this is an Australian pet um, from the, oh, bro, are you, did you see that? Did that dude just glitch out of here? All right, we're about to have two Mega Neon Quokkas. I'm gonna go Quokkas for it. All right, let's see. What does the Mega Neon Quokka look like? I imagine the neon, but with magical color changing aspects, we have a glowing nose, glowing ears, glowing hands, and also a glowing tail in every single color of the rainbow. This is a candy hair. It came out of a Christmas candy themed hair box where you could get like a gingerbread hair or the legendary is obviously the candy one, which we're about to go and make into a neon. Now I searched the word candy and it comes up with all of these other pets, which is weird, but you wanna know why? It's because candy is my star code and that's the name of all of my pets. So when you go and buy Robux or Roblox Premium, if you go and use star code candy, it helps to support me. You lose absolutely nothing from using the star code. It literally just helps uh, Roblox know that you support me and gives me a small little commission. Anyway, the candy hair as a neon is a very fun looking pet, glowing in a awesome pink. And look how many parts of this pet actually glow neon. We got the feet, we have the peppermint candy themed back. We got the stripes, we got the belly, we got like the candy stuffed necklace, the nose, the whiskers, the ice cream, and the cherries on top. That is an absolutely insane neon. I think you can see why so many people love this pet in its neon form, as this is just a really fun pet 
and I like the ears. The ears are literal ice creams. What is there not to like? Rainbow Dragon Time. This is the pet that so many people opened hundreds of boxes and attempts to go and get themselves a rainbow dragon. Personally, um, instead of actually getting the rainbow dragons, I kept getting the Dragonsters, which is uh, the legendary vehicle, which is a cool vehicle, but might have preferred the rainbow dragon. Anyway, Neon Rainbow Dragon is a lot of people's dreams pet. I think you'll understand why is it on its side, and now it's upside down. You'll understand why this is a lot of people's dream pet. Look how big of a pet this is. Look at all of those colors as well. This is just such a fun, colorful pet. There's so much going on. This might be one of my favorite pets as a neon that has ever existed in Adopt Me. Like all of this fur here, the front, all of the spikes and the tail. This is just a really fun neon and I hope that they continue to make neons like this as this literally looks like it could be a mega neon right now. Since we made the rainbow dragon, I think it would also make sense to make the other dragon. So what is the other dragon? Do I have enough to make a, a mega dragon? Potentially. Um, Midnight Dragon, there you are. This is the Robux variant that came out at the Lunar New Year. Let's go and make ourselves a Neon of the Midnight Dragon. Each one of these Midnight Dragons would set you back a cost of 1,000 Robux. So, pretty expensive of a pet, but let's find out. Oh, yeah, I can't equip a Neon one. Bro, no, I just revealed to you what the Neon looks like by accident equipping the neon. Anyway, we already know what the neon looks like of this pet, but let's go and transform it. They keep collapsing. Obviously, the neon is green. Green with uh, like this darky purple haze. Very cool looking color. It kind of looks Halloween-y to me. It definitely looks a bit spooky. Um, I mean, I guess that's the idea because it's meant to be like midnight darkness. And yeah, this is a pretty fun looking neon but it definitely looks very Halloween themed to me. Let me know if you agree. This is a tiny little cactus friend. One of the most recent legendaries to come out of a gumball egg. Let's go and transform this little dude into a neon. Now I actually might end up having enough to make a mega neon cactus dude one day, which is the goal. This is the final one. Bye bye little cactus friend into a mega neon one, which is gonna be tiny. I love the tiny pets. And then also love the giant pets. This one's like a pretty decent size. There we go. This is the neon cactus friend. All of those tiny little spikes glow neon. The feet also glow neon and then so do the hands and so does the flower on the top. This is a pretty cool combination and a lot of people are really happy if they go and hatch this pet out of the new eggs. This is a neon Tasmanian devil, which could only possibly mean one thing, that we are gonna go and make ourselves a mega neon. Let's go. I really wish I had to make a mega neon task to go and claim all of those uh, awesome RGB boxes, but unfortunately we don't. So obviously the regular Tasmanian devil has a nice red evil looking glow. It literally has devil in the pet's name. So this one should be a bit of a spooky looking pet. I'm not sure if this pet is extinct or not, and as the Meganeon, as you would expect, it is all of those sections glowing as Meganeon, kind of as you would expect that Meganeon to work. Let's go and make ourselves a pet that I think most of you guys have. I think you all have one of these. This right here is a lovely dog. Now again, I think we are about to go and lose some potions, so this one is Neon on Fly and this one's Neon Fly Ride. So if I go and combine the two, obviously I will be losing one Fly Potion by going and making this Mega. Um, is my dog okay? <laughs> uh, let's go and place this down. So unfortunately we are losing a Fly Potion, but it is what it is. This one is just called Fun Time. I hope I'm having a fun time and you are watching this video are having a fun time. Let's find out what the Mega Neon Dog looked like, one of the first pets to exist in Adopt Me, one of the pets that pretty much everyone has. This is the Mega Neon Dog. It's a pretty cool looking pet. Obviously the ears, the feet and the tail glow and yeah, there you go. That is what it looks like. 
Up next is probably one of my favorite pets to exist and adopt me, the Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon. This comes in at a cost of 1,000 Robux, released at a Christmas update. Let's go and make yourself this into a neon form. So definitely difficult to go and age these up. We do already have a Mega, but what I don't have is a neon. Yeah, that's right. I actually don't have the neon one. I only have Megas, which is kind of crazy, obviously. Here we go. This is what the neon one looks like. It glows orange. These tiny little like chocolate swells glow orange. The little freckles, the chest, the little cookie on the top of the feet. I never noticed that. And then also the tail is made out of a cookie and it's got a bite out of it. Someone has nibbled the cookie. Do you want to know who it was? I think it was this tiger. He definitely nibbled the tail. You see the bite, the bite marks definitely match up, guys. I think it's it's a fact, which is why you should buy this hat. <laughs> All right, the next pet is a pet that I have never actually seen as a neon. I even though I have it, I guess I traded for it. A neon Galacia Kitsune. This again is a Robux pet, a legendary. I'm not sure if you can still go and purchase this. Let's have a little snoop. Can you buy yourself the Glacier Kitsune? I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't buy this pet, so it was time limited. Glacier Kitsune, basically a regular Kitsune, but as a Glacier themed, meaning it's Christmas style, it's spiky, it's Christmassy, and as a neon, it's blue. Oh right, this one is kind of like all of these gemstones and spikiness and definitely a lot more detail and also it glows and like leaves snowflakes. This one actually has such a cool animation when it runs. This might be one of my favorite running animations to exist. It's just, it's just really satisfying. It's just really cool animation. I like the movement to it. It's just pretty cool. This is a neon harp seal. The neon parts are the feet and the tail. So let's go and make ourselves this dude into a mega neon harp seal. I'm excited and so should you be because this is a mega neon. Although it is only what rarity and uncommon. So it should be pretty easy to go and age up. Anyway, here it is. Little happy harp seal doing his little bounce along glowing in all of its favorite colors. Why does the hop seal look so small? I thought it was bigger than that. Maybe I'm just seeing things. This is a Mecha Meow. Yeah, that's right. This is a neon Mecha Meow, which means we are about to make a mega neon Mecha Meow. But the best of all thing is, I'm not making one of them. I am making two. Yeah, that's right. Did I tell you I was going to make two of the same Mega Neon? That's a legendary that's extremely expensive. I bet you were not expecting that whatsoever. This is a very expensive legendary to get your hands on, making it very, very valuable. Best of all, I'm going to have two of them. Yeah, that's right. Look at this, a stack of three. Not for long. Let me make that a stack of four. Yeah, that's what I thought. Four Mega Neon Mecha Meows. They should add a Mega Mega. Now that adult me is an idea. You see, they added Mega Neons after they added Neons because people were like, oh, I've made it Neon. What next? Now, I have too many Megas. So, make a Mega Mega Neon. Yeah, how about that? Then I can make a Mega Mega Neon Mecha Meow. <laughs> that sounded like a handful. So obviously this is a great pet. Everyone loves this pet. Very valuable pet. It's just pretty fun looking. And uh, now I got four of them. If you want proof, let me just um, go and do that. You can see I can unstack them. Four Mega Neon Mecha Meows. And uh, they go and stack up and it just says four now. You thought I was done? Nah, we got the Mega Neon Peppermint Penguin that you all have been waiting for. This is a Robux pet, a very expensive Robux pet. Very undervalued, very underrated for a Robux pet, as this dude is very cute, very fun looking. This is the Peppermint Penguin as a Mega Neon form. Now, the only downside to this is this pet originally used to have a Peppermint on its belly. It used to be right here, and that was before Adopt Me put it on sale, and then they changed their mind and removed it. I don't know why it was the only part that made sense about it being a Peppermint is that it literally had a peppermint on its belly. I don't know why they removed it to this day, but I hope they add it back in the future. 
we've got another jellyfish. We already know what this one looks like from earlier, but we might as well go and make ourselves another jellyfish just for like trading or for values, or I already forgot what the neon looks like. Was it pink, red? Yeah, I honestly, I don't know what color this is. This is the one that I couldn't remember the color. I'm saying red, but um, challenge me, let me know. A neon dog. Now this is a classic pet. I'm pretty sure you all know what this looks like and I did I believe make one earlier So let's go and make ourselves another neon dog and it seems to have vanished. Okay, it just took a little bit of time So this is the second from last that is our 30 second pet the neon dog for the final 33 of the Mega Neons and Neons, we've got a dragon. This is a pet I have been making for a long time. I already have a Mega Neon Dragon, but hey, I wanted to make another one. Why not? And yeah, this one's already... This one's green. Alright, I think I must have dyed it um, using the hair salon at some point. I guess it stayed, which is interesting. I don't know if that means my Mega Neon's gonna be... Oh, bro, you broken. Alright, the final one... This was a crazy video. This took so long to go and age all of these up. It took so much bug, so much time. And this is the final Mega Neon of the day. The Mega Neon Dragon. Now this is a very cool looking pet. It's a classic pet. Everyone loves the design of it. What's there not to love about this pet? It's just really cool. So there we go. All 33 Mega Neons and Neons confirmed. Click here to watch a noob account open 100 desert eggs in Adopt Me. I think you're really going to love this video next. Click here right now to go and watch it. I dare you to. And subscribe if you're not already.